Miniature painting is a solitary hobby. It's not something we generally tend to do in a group, although it can be pretty fun to do so. And much to the dismay of an introverted nerd like myself, wargaming is a pretty social hobby. And so it is nice to find people to do it with. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Richard here from Crash Course Hobbies. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to find other nerds like yourself that share the same passion and wanna hang out and throw some dice. I'm gonna start by just doing a little bit of story time for you guys. So I started with this hobby during COVID lockdown and I was finding that I was spending a ton of time working on my other YouTube channels, working from home on the computer and then playing video games in my spare time. And I found that just staring at screens all the time was just totally burning me out. And I needed to find an analog hobby, something that I could do to just take my mind away from the digital stuff. And I've always been big into like D&D and tabletop stuff and so I kind of started looking at Warhammer and picked up a, a first box, the Indominus box, and kind of was <laughs> history from there. Unfortunately for me though, none of my kind of already existing friends were interested in looking at tabletop gaming or miniature painting or any of that kind of stuff. And nothing wrong with that, it's not for everybody, but you also need to find people to play with. And for me personally, I tend to be a little bit more introverted, a little bit more socially awkward sometimes. And nobody really wants to go into a situation like your local game store or uh, you know, a big club full of people that you don't know and just try to make it work. Because it's tough, it's awkward, and uh, I don't like it, so I don't expect other people to like it. But I wanna talk to you about a couple of things that I found on my journey as well as recommendations on how you can find your local community and have a much better time. First thing I would recommend is, chances are you already know where your local game store is. If you were already purchasing models or maybe you're just wanting to get into the game, quick Google search will generally tell you where the closest stores that sell miniatures or whatever you're looking to get are. Um, so identify where that store is and just go down there and check it out. Chances are they will have a bulletin board posted if you don't really feel like talking to anybody yet or on their website or Facebook page or something like that which will tell you which nights of the week they do certain events. And nine times out of 10, they're gonna have a community paint night or something like that where you can bring some of your minis and kind of find where the local hobbyists are and get together and paint, which can be fun. Or they'll also have bulletins posted for what games might be available on certain nights. For my local community, Thursday night's 40K night. So generally we're kind of going out to play Warhammer on Thursdays. But uh, just kind of identifying where you're gonna have the best luck and what nights to go is a really great place to start. This is probably as good a time as any to mention that 93.8% of you watching this channel are not subscribed yet. So what are you waiting for? Help my sense of self-worth, hit that subscribe button. Well, let's keep going. While you're also at the store, another thing I'd recommend is ask whoever's working there about local Discord groups for whatever game. Uh, you know, it could be that there is a local Warhammer Discord server. It could be that there's a local Discord server just for that specific shop. And then they'll have the different chat rooms and things for the specific game groups. And that can be a really great way to kind of pop in, introduce yourself, ask other people if they are putting together introductory games or post models you're working on, or use that as a way to set up a game before you go. So at least you're not wasting your time showing up at the store hoping to play a game, but nobody's there to play with. So um, using those kind of digital social networking tools is a really great way to find people to play with without putting yourself in weird positions. Also on the topic of social media, I would recommend just go on Facebook and look for a local hobby group, Warhammer group, whatever game you're looking for in your city. So just type in Boston Warhammer 40K or Los Angeles Warhammer 40K, wherever you might be. And I feel like chances are there's gonna be a group there, at least if you're in a kind of a more major city. And even if you're kind of like in a suburb area or a smaller town, pick the bigger kind of municipality that you're close to and uh, you know, you'll find something around it generally. Another thing you can do is do like a virtual hobby hangout. Now this is definitely something I have planned when I launched my Patreon page and have a certain tier where, you know, once a month or whatever it might be, uh, we hang out on Discord, we share our video, we share projects we're doing and just hang out for a while and hobby. And this can be a really fun way to pull inspiration from people, but also being way less pressure than having to go to the store and meet a bunch of people that you don't know and the awkward situations there. So if you decide that you you know wanna not use your camera or you wanna leave or whatever it might be, uh, it's just generally kind of an easier thing to get into for your first couple of times before you really dive in. And look, I wanna dispel the myth of the socially awkward, uh, weirdo, game nerd kind of person because 
while I definitely can sympathize and am a socially anxious person and tend to you know overthink stuff and all that kind of thing, I want to make one thing very, very clear. This hobby, the miniature painting hobby, uh, the wargaming hobby community, both communities really are incredibly encouraging, incredibly inclusive, and I have yet to run into anybody who is not super welcoming and inviting and encouraging. And so for all of you that may be on the fence to go into your local store or to attend a paint night or something like this, I would just really encourage you to just take that step, take a deep breath, psych yourself up, whatever you have to do, because I promise you, you're gonna be happy you did it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Best of luck finding your local hobby community. And while you're there, please continue to support your local game stores. If you wanna be my virtual hobby buddy, click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you around. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.